And here's the thing that worries me the most. If you look January 5 of this year in uh, Caluicon, a city in, uh, in Mexico, about, about a million people, the cartel, uh, agents of the drug cartel, Sinaloa cartel, ended up in a war, an open shooting war with the Mexican army. They're firing 50 caliber weapons at, at, at helicopters and, and vice versa. Cars, burning cars, uh, cartel agents running around on what they call narco takes. They're ba basically improvised gun-mounted vehicles. I mean, th this is something that none of which there's, this is a war going on in Mexico. When you empower the cartel the way Biden policy has, everybody who comes across the cartel, the bar Border Patrol will tell you, pays a fee. Mm -hmm. And they really don't have the money to pay a fee, so they enter into indentured servitude in the United States. And that's why these kids are working in factories, so that they can pay their smugglers. That, over the course of time, that provides the recipe, the groundwork for the most it's for the biggest growth of a criminal syndicate in the history of the country. And that means you know, violence and danger, reckless uh, endangerment of Americans in every city and every state in the country.